This video features high-end, limited edition collectibles and is intended for adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. So before we get started with today's video, just a real quick disclaimer that obviously with everything going on in the world right now, um, Sang and I are actually going to be having to work on this one remotely. Um, so we do apologize in advance if there's any hiccups or the video is a bit different than what you guys are used to. Um, you may notice some differences in the audio and um, Sang and I's comments are probably going to be a little less conversational than usual because, you know, we're not in the room physically together. Um, but we did still want to give you guys this review because it was very highly requested, um, you know, on our Instagrams. So we are going to be reviewing Integrity Toys, Your Motivation, Aaron Salston, and like no other, Naja Rhymes of New Face. Uh, these girls were made available to order um, to W Club members only and cost $145 plus shipping and handling each. So we're gonna move through the packaging kind of quickly because if you watched our previous New Face review of Giselle and Ayumi, this is the exact same box um, as that collection. It's a white textured, you know, the usual shoebox-esque box with the New Face logo along the top and opens via a magnetic opening off to the side. So here we have the girls with their sleeves opened and we of course have the usual accessory compartment at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox both of these girls to give you guys a closer look at the dolls. Let's take a closer look at your motivation, Aaron Salston. Aaron has soft lavender eyeshadow that fades out into a smoky umber color. She has thick black eyeliner and dark blue eyes. Unique to this Aaron, she has a beauty mark on her right cheek. She has on power pink lipstick on her signature open mouth sculpt. Erin has waist length sandy blonde hair that is parted on the side. The bangs are tied back away from her face and her hair is thickly gelled to hold that nice wavy curl. Erin comes with a few different accessories, including some very cute gold hair clips um, that you actually have to snap closed yourself. She also comes with a very cute pair of gold earrings um, that seem to be designed after designer logo heads, a um, little bit of a connotation to the Versace logo. She is also wearing a simple gold heart locket necklace. She has a simple gold bracelet as well that only goes around part of her wrist um, and it's a little bit hard to keep it on her wrist unless her translucent jacket is off. Erin's trench coat is a transparent black color with silver buttons. Um, this is actually a really cool trench coat, um, you know, and it has a very unique texture like it really does feel um like you know the translucent trench coats you see in real life um i don't personally know if i've ever seen this type of aesthetic and texture on an you know at an integrity toys scale before so it's a really cool piece underneath her jacket erin is wearing a delicate lingerie inspired purple dress with gold chain straps it has black lace detailing along the bust and the ends of the dress, um, and the top of it is very sheer. So this is definitely um, a sexy, intimate type of piece. Very different from, you know, the trench coat look. Erin is wearing some gorgeous pleather heels. They are open toe shoes with black straps crisscross in the front with gold accents. Erin carries a pleather black clutch with gold studded strap detailings on the front of the clutch. She comes with a second pair of hands for a variety of poses. True to her title, like no other, Naja has a unique screening. She has striking smoky eyeshadow with gold accents on the upper lid going into the intercrease of her eyes. Her cheeks are blush with a deep red color and her lips are a deep burgundy color with some metallic shine to it. 
Naja comes in this gorgeous Nubian skin tone in contrast to her other 2019 release, London Show, where she was in the Japanese skin tone. Her dark brown hair is super long and straight, reaching all the way to her thighs. It is parted straight in the middle. Similar to Erin, Naja comes with two gold hair clips to keep her hair out of her face. Naja is also wearing a lovely pair of safety pin style earrings. So Naja is wearing a very trendy, fashionable outfit. She is sporting a pink and black leopard print blouse with the left sleeve being off the shoulder. The collar of the blouse is styled into an ascot design and her blouse is tucked into a high-waisted glossy pair of shorts with a black strap belt. Matching her accessories, the belt has a gold buckle accent and completing the look, Naja can drape her black and white striped faux fur shawl around her. Um, the fur shawl is a pretty cool piece um, and you know, kind of like the fur shawls we've seen in the past, there is um, a hook and a little string, you know, on opposing sides. So if you'd like to, you can actually hook it closed, but it also looks fine just tucked underneath her arms. So she also comes with a simple gold ring. Um, the ring appears to be really similar to, you know, we've talked about it on other dolls, um, you know, almost like the Versace slash lion-esque design. Naja comes with another really interesting accessory. It is an armband wallet accessory that essentially wraps around one of her arms and you attach it using a little hook string similar to her faux fur shawl. Um, it's a really interesting piece, and according to the product description, it's a newly developed one. Um, when you take it out of the little baggie, it's a little easy to mistake for a clutch, but it goes on like an armband. So for Naja's shoes, she is rocking a pair of black high heels with black straps across the front and some awesome gold accents. Um, I really like these shoes. They are very much a statement, and I definitely think the gold on them complements her other little jewelry pop pieces really well. Like Erin, Naja also comes with a hand swap, and for both girls, it's just a little bit more delicate of a pose. All right, so these are our final thoughts on Like No Other, Naja, and your motivation, Erin. So, you know, there was a lot of positive buzz around these two um, when they were first announced in the community. Um, you know, and understandably so, you know, New Face is super popular in general, and Jesse Ayala is generally killing it with a lot of really, you know, fun, flashy um, designs. And I think he brings definitely the most uh, modernness, really, to Integrity Toys. Um, I definitely appreciate these two quite a bit more in person. You know, I feel like when I first saw their promo images, um, they were beautiful, you know, they were really cool, really fun. It was great to see Naja um, in the Nubian skin tone and Erin, you know, uh, we hadn't seen her in a bit as well. And I love Erin, I've actually recently decided I think she's one of my favorite sculpts, but I don't know, there was something about them when I first saw the promos that I was like, eh, they're, yeah, they're beautiful, they're fun, but, um, you know, the pairing didn't really seem to have a clear theme to me. Um, and I'm someone who really values themes with a lot of my dolls and toys. Um, so, you know, and also it's just, I don't know, it felt like they were lacking a little bit in terms of accessories and, you know, heavy detail um, and kind of the general va va voom that we usually get from New Face. But seeing them in person, they are really beautiful. Um, I would actually say seeing this Naja in person, it's probably one of my favorite um, screening skin tone comparisons I've seen on her. I think she's absolutely lovely. Um, I think it's really fun that she has such long hair. You know, the hair clips that these two girls have, they look great when you're able to put them on properly, but I did notice um, it kind of varies clip to clip and just how your doll's hair was rooted, like how well you're able to put them in. Um, and you literally just have to like slide them in, um, at least for Naja's. For Aaron's hair clips, uh, you actually can snap it closed, but Naja's, you literally just have to like slide them on, um, which it's great for aesthetics if you can leave it 
on, but um, it can make them kind of easy to fall off. So just be wary of that. Um, also, there were, you know, per usual, there were two pieces that gave me a bit of trouble when I was setting them up and putting them together with the accessories. Um, Aaron's necklace was a bit obnoxious to put on because um, it's kind of form fitting. It definitely was not as difficult to put on as Cool Kid Ayumi's, thankfully, but. Um, in addition to that, unfortunately, some of the straps in Naja's shoes, even though her shoes are just like slide on, the straps came off for mine and I had to pull out a pair of tweezers to redo the straps and that was super annoying. Um, so I don't know, moving forward, I love the, the heavy detail of all these, you know, to scale accessories and articles of clothing, but I really hope they'll start considering um, functionality and ease of use a little bit more. I really personally would like them to just get rid of the hoops and little rings and stuff that you have to use tweezers to put together for the jewelry. I just, I would prefer they use something simpler like magnets or I don't know, just larger necklaces or something so it's just easier to deal with easier to put on so it's not a nightmare every time you have to set up a new integrity toys doll but those things being said i think these two are they're gorgeous um and they also look very nice in each other's clothing um as you know they displayed in the promos um i would say if you're a fan of naja or a fan of aaron you should definitely check these two out they're quite striking um and they're just a lot of fun i love the translucent coat on um Aaron as well uh it's just as I said before it's you know we don't get to see that type of look and texture on integrity toys very often both Aaron and Naja are gorgeous dolls I think it's really nice of integrity toys to consider these two dolls as one offering out of the five that comes with the W Club membership I think they're both reasonably priced at 145 each but I do know that there are some members that voice an issue with the lack of accessories and clothing these two come with um, they are a bit thinly clad, but I think detailing on the pieces themselves make up for it. Both their screenings are stunning, and I would even have to say they're two of my favorite ones for these two characters. I like the variety of fashion that Integrity Toys usually offers for their dolls, so if these two are not your cup of tea, there are and will be other dolls that might appeal to you. So I think this fits a certain fandom and um, group of people so you know you can't really please everyone but i'm glad that they have a bit more of you know modern look to them so thank you for joining us for our review of your motivation aaron salston and like no other naja rhymes make sure to let us know what you guys think of these two in the comments below let us know what you'd like to see reviewed next on our channel um as we said <laughs> with the state of the world right now um, you know, it might be a little bit harder for us to bring certain types of new content, um, so just bear with us during this time. But we're definitely going to be doing our best to continue bringing you guys weekly videos, best we're able anyway. Uh, we also do have some backlogged footage and some stuff that never saw the light of day that's probably gonna finally get edited and posted. So, um, so yeah, stick with us and the content will continue coming. Hope all of you are staying well, staying safe, and we will see you next time. Bye.